there are two black widows. Outside? Yes, Dad? there's a huge one right outside the porch. You didn't touch that, did you, Charity? Danielle picked up a rock the other day and she said that there was something on her hand and she looked and it was a black widow. Don't ever touch those kind of spiders, okay? Little kids can die from that bite. Yeah. Hurry, Hold on, let me just pause the back and do it fast. Ah, no, no, okay. Halloween. What a great time of the year. You know what? Hold on. You didn't touch that, did you, Charlie? You didn't touch that spider, did you, Charlie? There's another black widow right there. Another one. We had our exterminator come out yesterday and spray the whole entire property, uh, inside and out. He did actually extra work yesterday because he felt bad. He's actually turned into a good friend of ours. He's like really a great guy, but he felt bad because Charlie got bit by the black widow. If you guys, you guys remember a few weeks ago. Um, we let him know about it. In fact, Sarah called immediately after we found out that it was a black widow bite. Anyway, he came out yesterday and he sprayed everything. Extra, extra good. Well, there are cockroaches everywhere on the sidewalk dead out there. Like oh, really? Tons. And there are two black widows. Outside Yes, dead? there's a huge one right outside the porch. Huge. Just as big as the one that bit Charlie. Yeah. And then there's another little small one that I found, but I'm sure there's a lot more than what I'm seeing. But. That one is right by the oh back porch, gosh. as saw it this morning. He's like, there's a black widow out there. So I ran out there thinking that I was gonna see a live one, but it's dead. Wow, okay, we're putting him on a monthly schedule now then. Yeah, so let him know, take a picture of it, let him know that okay. we appreciate his work because now we don't have to worry about Charlie getting bit by black widows, at least for now. Or our kids. Or the kids, yes, yeah. The kids know to stay away from them, but Allie, or sorry, Danielle, Danielle picked up a rock the other day and she said that there was something on her hand and she looked and it was a black widow and she brushed it off. So, yeah, this is actually a good thing that um, this is just like life. Like you have problems, you have issues, things come up and it raises your awareness to be careful or to look at certain things and just adjust your life or adjust things in your life a little bit to just keep yourself a little bit more safe or where you're supposed to be. So it's actually kind of a good thing to kind of think about. And as didn't freak out when he saw the black widow, he was just like, there's a black widow on the back porch, and then he ran upstairs. <gasps> what a geek! Oh, those are asses. Yours are in the purple cap. What is it? <sighs> Did you see the black widow on the back porch? Come here, come look, hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come here, this is the kind of spider that you want to stay away from, okay? Yeah, never, never, come never. Come here, this touch is the kind it. of spider. If you ever see a spider like this, Gigo, don't touch it, okay? It's dead, buddy. But let's look at it. See that big black thing? Charlie. Bad. Yeah, so we stay Bad. away from those kind of spiders, okay? Don't ever touch those kind of spiders, okay? They'll bite you and you'll be just as sick as Charlie, if not worse. Yeah. Okay? Little kids can die from that bite. Yeah. I'm excited that he's dead, or she's dead. It's actually a girl. Did you know that all black widows are girls? Because if you see a black widow that's a boy, it's not a black widow. I mean, really? it's a it's a male it's a male black, but it's not a black widow. Cool, huh? Look at all these dead bugs out here. Yeah, you did nice. a really good job yes, yesterday. Did. I didn't even see these bugs. We never see these bugs, and all of a sudden they're everywhere. Mm-hmm. You want to see the black widow? I saw it, dude. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That's it. Those are the kind that you never, 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 never touch. Yeah, don't touch them ever, even when they're dead. It is Halloween season, right? It's spooky season, yo. I kind of person that's not just like, I'm gonna be a Pop-Tart for Halloween. I'm gonna be a Sandal for Halloween. I'm gonna be a dinosaur for, I'm not that kind of a person, yo. I'm the kind of a person that goes full on when it comes to Halloween, full on. I'll get the wig, I'll get the contacts, I'll do all of that stuff, I go full on. And so that means I need a little bit of time to get my costumes. Now I like to get my stuff online because it seems to me like I can get things cheaper online. I don't know if that's true or if that's just my brain being like, yes, yes, online is better. I think I can get things online <laughs> cheaper and I don't have to 
go and that's a stupid stupid thing but I can't I can but I can't drive myself at the same time I can't just drive myself to the store to buy a bunch of Halloween decor <laughs> costume pieces and I don't want to have to bug my parents and bug my parents can you take me today because I'm gonna go multiple days because it's gonna take me a little while so I'm online shopping so me and my aunt and my cousin Mostly just me and my cousin. <laughs> my aunt kind of tagged along because we invited her. Anyway, me and my cousin were talking and he's like, hey, have you figured out what you're gonna be for Halloween yet? And I was like, no, dude, I need help. I wanna be something cool. Cause I'm usually, I wanna be something cool, right? We're talking, he's like, I wanna be something with red contacts, red eye contacts. And I was like, Branson's a th turd face and, just kidding, no. I, it's a lot of talking, yo. Yeah. A lot of talking. Yeah. If you would let me get to my freaking story. Anyway, so we were talking about it for a while and we decided that we <laughs> were going to dress up together. So we decided that we're gonna be vampires. Vampires that are from different time periods because he wanted to be a vampire from like the 1930s and I didn't because I didn't like the Woman's outfits back then. <laughs> Stop. Why can't I just be in the video? Go be in your own video. <laughs> what the crap? <laughs> Whoa. Daddy said they come in and help me. That's so cool. It's a bed and then it turns into a couch? That's cool. And this is the end product right here. I have three of these things when you can just have one giant one like this. I like this one better. There's a lot more room. <laughs> and then you can put all the sides up and then you put all the sides up on this side, and then you put them up on this side, and this side, and you come over here, and do it the same over here, right there. And look, you have like your own little cradle thing, where you're enclosed on all four sides of you. That's actually pretty sweet, if you ask me. Tonight my grandma is actually staying at the house, uh, Grammy, and so she's taking my room. I let her take my room because it's the, one of the most comfortable beds in the house and everything. So I, You have to give up the good bed, right? I'm actually going to uh, hurry and set up these beds like I did earlier. I know my dad came down and he set it all and made it look all nice. <laughs> but I'm going to make it into the giant mega bed real quick and then go to sleep in that tonight. And there it is. The giant mega bed. Taking three of the little beds and making it into one giant bed. <sighs> Which means I'll probably have to fix it in the morning. No, I'm not going to because I'm probably going to sleep here tomorrow morning too. Thank you guys so much for watching today. You guys are incredible. I love you guys. I know my family loves you guys. Never forget how amazing you are because you are amazing. And as always, guys, never forget that you are worth it. You really are. See you tomorrow. Good night.
Yes. Almost as tall. No, just kidding. I was gonna say he's almost as tall as Charles, but Charles. And the radio's on.